right off the bat, I want to know, are the Titans contenders in the AFC with DeAndre Hopkins? We're going to unpack everything after Tennessee landed the star wide receiver. But I want to know from everyone watching right now, do you believe that the DeAndre, DeAndre Hopkins acquisition has made Tennessee a contender in the AFC? So we're going to get through all the rumors and the buzz after the Hopkins signing here because the Tennessee Titans have landed a star wide receiver. It was a big thing, a big hole on their roster. They didn't have that clear go-to guy for Ryan Tannehill, and they get that in DeAndre Hopkins. Because look at the Titans offense now. It's not bad, folks. I mean, I know the people watching this know this, but the national media kind of needs to pick this up a little bit too. Ryan Tannehill has Derrick Henry and DeAndre Hopkins. I know this is not 2018, and that would be a whole different world if those two were on the same team in that time. But I still think Derrick Henry, Derrick Henry could be a 1,200-plus yard rusher, and DeAndre Hopkins can still be a 1,000-yard receiver. And you had Traylon Burks and Chig on the side, two ascending players, hopefully. This could be a sneaky good offense. But I don't have to sell you on the defense. The defense, in my eyes, is one of the more underappreciated units in the NFL. Danico Autry and Jeffrey Simmons are going to form one of the best defensive lines in the NFL. It's just so deep, right? It's got so many great pieces. Pierre Tart, for crying out loud, is one of the more unsung guys in the National Football League. You get Harold Landry back. Hopefully, he's 100%, and he can provide 10-plus sacks for you. You add Sean, Moff Sean Murphy bunting in free agency along with Christian Fulton. That's going to be a really good cornerback duo. And you got Kevin Byard holding down the back end of the defense, one of the top 10 safeties in the National Football League. This is a sneaky good roster, ladies and gentlemen. I know a lot of people were on Twitter going, what is DeAndre Hopkins thinking? What are the Titans thinking? You want to know what the Titans are thinking? They've got a good roster. Mike Vrabel is one of the best coaches in the National Football League. This team can compete. And what is DeAndre Hopkins thinking? Well, he's thinking, this team gave me a lot of money, something that was hard to turn down. But also, it's not that bad of a team as people are making it out to be. Out to be. Is it the Kansas City Chiefs or the Buffalo Bills? No, it's not. But it's the Tennessee Titans team that has been very consistent in my, in my eyes over the last half decade or so under the watch of Mike Vrabel in a division like the AFC South that has two teams that finish in the bottom five of the NFL last year in the Indianapolis Colts and the Houston Texans. You can pick up some wins there and what, you got to compete with the Jags? Yeah, this roster is pretty darn good, but I think it's a step further than that. Go back to last season for a second, okay? The Tennessee Titans last year got off to a 7-3 and three start. Their offense was not great. Their defense was sound, though. But the change when Ryan Tannehill went down, right? And they finished the year 0-7. And, and they were only scoring 15 points per game. They were giving up nearly a whole extra touchdown compared to the first 11 weeks of the season. The turnovers went up. The takeaways went down. And the record reflected that. There is reason to believe that if the Titans get a healthy Ryan Tannehill back, which they are, and they are adding DeAndre Hopkins to that 7-3 and three team with Harold Landry also returning, why can't the Titans be, once again, a team that proves people wrong? How many people saw the Titans winning the AFC not too many years ago? Did it work out for them in the long run? No, it didn't. But the AFC is a very tough conference. I don't know if it's ever been this tough before. So for the Titans to go, we were 7-3 and three before we lost Tannehill. We're getting Harold Landry back, and we're adding DeAndre Hopkins to this team why are people saying we're going to suck and this is a bad place for DeAndre Hopkins to go? Are there better spots? Sure, but it's a very winnable division. If the team you have to get over is the inconsistent, self-imploding Jacksonville Jaguars, I don't hate your chances of surprising people and being better than what everyone else is saying you're going to be. And adding Hopkins to this team is only going to make you better. And the Titans, in my eyes, are a team that no one should want to play. They are going to be a tough out every single Sunday. This is a Titans team with Malik Willis went to overtime, had a fourth quarter lead against the future Super Bowl winning Patrick Mahomes, Kansas City Chiefs, 
in their house. So yeah, I am going to believe that with Ryan Tannehill coming back healthy and DeAndre Hopkins and Harold Landry joining this 2023 team at 100%, this could be a team that surprises some people. With one of the best coaches in Mike Vrabel as well, yeah, they're not going to be a team anyone should look forward to pay, playing on Sunday. So let me know, will the Titans make the playoffs? Type 1 for yes, type 2 for no. Playoffs. We're talking playoffs. I know. It's a ways away. I still am not sold on them being a lock to make the playoffs, but I do think this. Tennessee will be in the hunt. Week 15, 16, 17. They are not going to be out of playoff contention. They are not going to be one of the first teams eliminated. They are going to stick around. They are going to be a thorn. They are not going to just walk away from the AFC South and hand it right over to Jacksonville. That's not happening this year. Now, with training camp right around the corner, just a quick friendly reminder to consider subscribing to the channel if you have not already. We're trying to reach 7,500 subscribers by the time training camp gets underway. We need 95 Titans fans watching right now to hit the subscribe button so we can reach that milestone. You can get free daily Titans news and rumors content when you subscribe. Some contract details that I wanted to share because Tom Downey did an excellent job of breaking down the news yesterday, but we've gotten some more reports since then. So the contract details, two years, $26 million, an average of $13 million. It can be up to $32 million if DeAndre Hopkins hits some of these incentives, and they are pretty juicy. So if Hopkins gets 95 grabs, which is a bit rich for a Ryan Tannehill-led offense after his slowdown over the last two years, and this team probably running the football a lot, but still, tell me $500,000 is up for grabs with 75 grabs. Yeah, I could see why Hopkins was persuaded to bet on himself knowing half a million dollars and you get to live in the great state of Tennessee. Seems like a pretty good win to me. But it's not just receptions. Receiving yards. Hopkins still says he's a 1,000-yard guy. And once he believes he's not a 1,000-yard player, he will retire. A million dollars is just dangling out in front of you the next two years in Tennessee if you get to 1,050 yards, something I think he is very capable of doing. When it comes to touchdowns, 10 touchdowns, a million dollars. Even if he just gets six touchdowns, $500,000. If DeAndre Hopkins puts up 700, uh, 75 grabs, 800 yards, and six touchdowns, the guy's walking away with over a million dollars in incentive. So clearly, Tennessee was willing, willing to pony up a little bit, something New England was not, which is kind of bizarre because we weren't too, we're not very far removed from Bill Belichick paying Jonu Smith and Hunter Henry a boatload of cash. But DeAndre Hopkins can't do it. So, shout out to Braves and Rand for getting this done. I think it's an excellent acquisition for the Titans. They needed a superstar wide receiver. They needed a wide receiver, for crying out loud. And they get an excellent one in DeAndre Hopkins. And for not a bad price either. Not a massive overpay or anything like that. Very good, smart move by the Titans. Now, a smart move for everyone watching right now would be to get their very own Titans t-shirt and hat combo. By going to chatsports.com slash T-E-N combo, 10 combo, you can snag your very own Titans t-shirt hat deal. Once we get DeAndre Hopkins jerseys, you know we'll be pushing those hot cakes on the channel. So make sure you get your very own Titans t-shirt hat, hat, hat combo today. The link is in the comments and the description of today's show. The big question that remains at large going into training camp and into the season especially with Nicholas petit Freire suspended the first six weeks, will the offensive line be better in 2023? If Andre Dillard and Peter Skaronsky come in here and turn this offensive line around, and maybe don't get it to top five status, that's a big ask for year one with these two guys, but at least make it between 15 to 20th in the NFL, you know what I mean, respectable, serviceable, this team could make some noise. But if once again this offensive line holds this team back, and it's bottom five in the league, DeAndre Hopkins, he's not going to get open within one second. He's going to need a little bit more time than that for Tannehill to stand in the pocket and deliver a pass to him. So the offensive line is still a big question mark for me, and I'm very excited to see what Vrabel and the company do at right tackle with uh, the suspension for Nicholas petit Air. One last time, I think one last time, 
Let's just remind ourselves about the player the Tennessee Titans are getting. Over the course of the last four seasons, he has missed some time with the Arizona Cardinals. But in 2020, when he played a full 16 games, 1,400 yards and six touchdowns, DeAndre Hopkins joins this wide receiver room, and he'll be slotted in ahead of Traylon Burks and Nick Westbrook and Keen. Kyle Phillips at the slot position might be a bit sneaky. I could see Ryan Tannehill in this offense having a lot of quick passes, and Kyle Phillips could be that uh, you know sneaky go-to target that could pop off for a game or two here or there. So just keep an eye on the former UCLA Bruin. But a lot of attention now falls on Ryan Tannehill. No, his career in Tennessee is not at stake here because it appears that his career in Tennessee is winding down, right? Uh, after this season, it's a big question mark as to whether or not Tennessee will hold on to him. But DeAndre Hopkins coming over certainly will help Ryan Tannehill in free agency next year if he still has ambitions and believes, hey, I'm still a franchise quarterback. Well, if you have DeAndre Hopkins to throw to, you're going to get some good numbers. So if Tannehill comes back 100%, he puts out a healthy season, and he's got Derrick Henry behind him supporting him, DeAndre Hopkins to throw to, hopefully an ascending Traylon Burks. Yeah, he could put together some really good numbers and either stick around in Tennessee for another season or two or find himself a new home in the National Football League but not be phased out because of back-to-back -back seasons when he had CFL players to throw to more or less. That's going to do it for us on today's show. Thanks so much for tuning in. If you have not subscribed and you enjoyed the content we had on today's show, consider subscribing down below. Helps grow the channel. We can get more studio space and you guys can get more Titans content.